Hi guys, today in this video I want to show you how to call uh, Microsoft Identity Platform Token API and get an access token for calling Microsoft Graph API. Uh, in previous video I uh, show you how to call that API using Postman and get the token. Uh, in this video our focus is using PowerShell script for getting that token. If uh, you want to know why we need to use PowerShell script uh, because sometimes you want to automate your uh, deployment and build process and using PowerShell script for that kind of stuff is very helpful for your automation process. Uh, let's get us started. Uh, if you want to have more details about what is Microsoft Graph API or um, about creating the app registration with more details just feel free to watch the previous video uh, you can find the previous video links in the description uh, but in this video go to the portal and in the search bar you look for app registration an app registration screen create new registration Give it a name. Use accounts in this organization directory only. Leave the redirect URI empty and click register. Then go to the certificates and secrets. Click on new client secret. Give it a name. Secret. Uh, app secret one with expiry of six months click add and we have everything uh, that we need for this app registration let's create a powershell script then i create a new hex file first and rename it to get a token change the extension to ps1 and you can edit this powershell script file with uh, any kind of id that you like uh, it can be visual studio code or um, even notepad not notepad plus plus or notepad uh, I like to use Visual Studio, so I can edit Visual Studio. Uh, cool. I start writing our script. We need a couple of different variables here. Let's start with tenant ID next one is client ID value of these variables are set with the value that we have in app registration so let me create variables first and then we set the value later we need another variable here for recording identity platform uri so the uri is https colon slash slash login dot microsoft online dot com and then you need to put your tenant id here so i use the variable tenant id and then of two slash token so the token endpoint for identity platform then for calling the token api we need to pass a payload or body to that. 
get a variable for that. And what we need to provide in this variable as a body of our API request is grant type. Should be credential client credentials client underscore credentials we need to pass client underscore id which is stored in client id variable we need to pass client secret is stored in secret and the last parameter is resource which is https column slash slash graph uh, dot microsoft dot com Perfect. Now we use invoke rest method command. This command is for this command is a PowerShell command for calling RESTful API. It needs a couple of different parameters. First parameters we need to provide is uh, type of the request, the HTTP request. Should be a post request. Next one is the URI. Pass URI variable. Next one is body of the request, which we have in body variable. And the last one is content type. Content type for this case should be application slash x dash triple w dash form dash URL encoded. Uh, we just store the API return value in a variable, say resp for response and then we just display the access token on the screen for this demo video should be resp dot access underscore token all right our script is ready what we need to put in this script is tenant id client id and secret and these values are coming from app registration that we created in the previous step so i come back to the azure folder <coughs> excuse me Going to the app registration, the app registration is our created demo app. In the overview section, copy the application or client ID. Back here, paste it. Copy directory or tenant ID. Paste it here. Uh, last one is the secret value that we created. So for this uh, demo purpose video, I put the secret value here as a clear text, but in a real scenario and for production environment, we never put the secret value as a clear text in our script or anywhere in our source control. Uh, the best 
uh, way of uh, storing this, this kind of values is storing that in Azure Key Vault and referring to that Azure Key Vault using, uh, for this case, a uh, different command that we have available in the PowerShell script for reading values from uh, Azure Key Vault. Anyway, everything is ready. The script, save the script. Uh, need to open a PowerShell command window. Bear in mind to open that PowerShell window and run it as administrator, and then navigate to the location that your script is located. And uh, in my case, it's uh, saved on my desktop, so I navigated to the desktop uh, location. Uh, here, we need to run our script. But before running your script, uh, if you are not already connected to your Azure subscription in the PowerShell script session, uh, you need to use connect az account. Uh, running this account um, brings up a, um, a browser screen uh, and you can log into your Azure subscription with your username and password. And after your login process, you can run this PowerShell script with dot slash and then your script name, which is get token dot ps1. So let's run that. Okay, we've got an error here. It's complaining about the parameter grant type. Maybe we've got a typo here. Just double check everything is fine. The content type is application slash x form URL encoded. Client credentials or of grant type. I have a typo here. Grant type, save that, run the script, and here you go. We've got access token printed in the PowerShell window. Uh, all right, uh, I think it's enough for this video. Uh, we managed to get the access token from Identity Platform. And we can use this access token as a better token to call Graph API. So in next videos, we use this access token uh, for calling uh, different Graph API methods. Um, thanks for watching this video. Bye.